First of all, in order to import Kitty datasets, we can register a specific package called RTMAPS Kitty Importer, then use component Kitty Importer. With this component, let's select the directory containing the dataset, which we have previously downloaded. Then the component will create the outputs corresponding to the various sensor streams found in the dataset. Let's add a few image viewer components to display the available video streams, we have four available. We have two black and white and two color video streams, from the same two cameras. We can also see that a point cloud stream from a Velodyne litter sensor is available. Let's use a 3D viewer component to display this point cloud. We can figure out here that the point cloud appears below the grid representing the ground. This is due to the fact that the point cloud is provided in the coordinates frame of the Velodyne litter sensor instead of the coordinates frame of the ground. So let's apply a transformation to that point cloud in the 3D viewer display. We will express this transformation not as a transformation matrix but as a set of position attitude and scale parameters. Let's apply a 1.7 meters offset on the z-axis. Now the point cloud appears on the ground. Let's remove the image viewers for the black and white video streams. To make the visualization nicer, we can now colorize the point cloud according to the scan point's distance. For this we can use a package called RT Maps Litter Tools, and a component there called, Points Colorizer. We now need to indicate in the 3D viewer that the point cloud data stream is a colored point cloud, a vector of x, y, z, r, g, b coordinates instead of just x, y, z. In order to display the tracklets, labeled objects, also called ground truth, we just have check the use tracklets property in the kitty importer component. The component then creates two additional outputs for this new data stream available in the kitty dataset. We can now add a new data stream to be displayed in the 3D viewer and configure the expected data type on this new input. Here the data type as real objects, which are actually 3D objects in the RT maps terminology. Don't forget to apply our 1.7 meters translation towards up in order to place the objects on the ground. Now we get colored bounding boxes for the objects that have been labeled in the kitty dataset. The bounding box colors correspond to the object classes, green for cars, pink for trucks, blue for pedestrians, etc. To make this even nicer, we can use a set of 3D models instead of simple bounding boxes. For this we can provide a configuration file on the real objects data stream, which associates 3D models to the different object classes. They all appear black since we are missing some lighting in the scene. Let's add two Gaussian light sources in the 3D viewer, and configure their positions. Okay, we have our nice 3D models in the scene instead of the simple bounding boxes. 
We can also introduce the Ego vehicle. So let's add an element in the 3D scene, which is not a data stream here. Let's select, file, and provide our 3D model. Why not drive a Dodge car? Last step in this video will be to project our 3D elements, point cloud and tracklets, onto the camera streams. For that we need the RT Maps 3D package, then component called, Projection 2. We will also use a component from the Kitty package, called, Kitty Calibration Parser, which can exploit the sensor's calibration files provided with the dataset. Let's ask the component to provide the calibration information in the form of a 3x4 projection matrix. And select camera index 2 for the projection matrix to correspond to the calibration information between the Velodyne litter and camera number 2. Back to our projection component, we can configure the projected data types as colored point clouds, our XYZ RGB stream, then request it be get the calibration and projection parameters not from a set of properties to be entered manually but as a 3x4 projection matrix to be retrieved from an input. Now we can connect the calibration parser output to provide the said matrix. On the output of the projection component, we get 2D graphical primitives, in pixel coordinates, that we call, drawing objects. The last component we need here is a component that will overlay the projected objects, called, drawing objects, into the video frames. The generic, drawing objects, component is just what we need. Let's provide it with the images stream and the, drawing objects, and display the result in our image viewer. We can now verify that the spatial calibration and the time correlation between the Velodyne and camera streams are correct. Now we can apply the same methods for projecting the 3D objects. Let's duplicate the projection 2 and the overlay drawing components, provide the same projection matrix but the data type to project changes to real objects instead of point clouds. We can now connect the video stream to the overlay drawing and the result to the image viewer. We went through different ways to play back and visualize the environment perceived and reconstructed by your sensors, your perception algorithms or ground truth tracks in RT maps.